So I want to filter these media records by their type, but I only want to show options that will actually return results. I don't want to show video as an option if there are no video files in the list. Currently, we are storing the file MIME types in the database, so we can use these to determine the broader file type. In this case, these are all video files. I'll open the media controller, go to the index method, and have it return file types as a prop. Now to get the available file types, we need to query all the distinct MIME types first. So we'll do media, select row, distinct MIME type, and then get. Now if I dime dump this, go in the browser and refresh, these are all the distinct MIME types from the media table. The next step is to take this collection and transform it into an array of file type options. So we'll have audio, image, document, archive, and so on. Now we can map through the collection, but we'll need to figure out a way to get the file type from the MIME type. Luckily, we are already doing something like this when determining the preview URL. Here we have a collection that defines what MIMES each file type has and what preview URL to return. We can do something similar to determine the file type. So we'll do public function get file type. And we'll need to get this array and turn it into a property. So I'll copy it, go here and say protected types, paste in the array, and remove the preview URL and the MIMES key. So I'll go here, select the preview URL, remove this whole line, and then the MIMES key. format, and here it is. Now here, we can loop through the array, so we'll do for each, this types as type mimes, and then if the type is in the array, this mime type in the mimes array, then we'll return the type. Otherwise, we'll default to other. The good news is that we can use this method to greatly simplify the preview URL accessor. We can remove everything here except the URL and the asset. So I'll do this, and then this, and so on. And then here we can return URLs, this get file type, and we'll also have to include the other file type in the array. So I'll go here and say other, paste it in, and remove everything else. Now we can go back to the media controller and return value equals item get file type and label equals uc first because we want to start with an uppercase letter get file type actually let's turn this into an accessor to stay consistent with the preview url attribute so we'll do file type file type and then inside our model here we'll do get file type attribute and down here, we'll do this file type. Now, if I go in the media controller and I dump the file types, go in the browser, refresh, here they are. But we have one problem. We have audio twice and video twice. That's because even though we are picking distinct mind types, two mind types may belong to the same file type. So we need to make sure we call unique 
by the value. Refresh again, here they are. Another problem is that calling unique turns the keys into strings and that in turn will convert our array into an object when sending it to the view component. So we also need to call values. Go back, refresh again, and they are integers now. Okay, now let's go inside the index media component and accept the prop. So we'll do file types, which will be an array. And then here we can loop through that array. V4 type in file types, value will be type.value. And for the label, we can do type.label. Of course, we'll need to remove these ones, refresh the browser, and here they are. However, there is no option to show all the file types, so let's add it in a computed property. I'll go down here and say computed all file types, which will return an array with the new option value null label any type and then the rest of the file types. Now I can take this, replace this one, go back in the browser, refresh, and here it is. We have the file type select ready, let's do the dates one as well. Similarly, we'll only show months that yield actual results. So let's go inside the controller and do months equals db and we'll import the facade table media, select row, distinct, and we'll need to format the date, so we'll use date, format, created that, and the format will be month and then the year. Then for the label, we'll do the same thing, except the format will be a bit different. We'll do month as a string, and we'll remove the dash. And then let's order them descending by the value. And finally, get them. Let's do a DD to see them in the browser. Refresh, and here they are. Now I'll go back and send them as a prop. So we'll do months, months. And then inside the index media component, we'll accept the prop. and we'll create a computed property for the select. We'll do all months, the value will be null, the label will be any date, and here we'll have months. Then we'll go up and do a v4. Month in all months, the value will be month.value, and the label will be month.label. Remove these, go back in the browser, refresh, and here they are. Now that we have options for both the select fields, we can set up a query object in our data to hold the select values. So we'll do data and return query, which will be an object with file type and month. Let's also set up the V models. So we'll go here and do V model query dot file type and V model query dot month. Now that we have these two V models in place, we can send them as query parameters to the media index endpoint whenever the user clicks the filter button. So we'll do click and we'll call a filter method. We'll grab this. Go here and create a method, filter, and this will basically send an inertia request. So we'll do this, dot inertia, get, route, media dot index, and we'll send the query parameters. If I go in the browser, refresh, select some values, and click filter, the request is made with the correct parameters, but our select values are lost. To fix this, we can go inside our controller 
and return the query params as prop. So we can do query params and here we'll do request all and we'll get the file type and the month. Now back to our index media component, we can accept the prop query params, which will be an object, and then use it to set the appropriate defaults. So we'll do this query params dot file type and this query params dot month. Now if I go back in the browser and refresh, here they are. Let's move on and actually filter the results. So I'll go inside the media controller, grab this part, and say if request has file type, then media should query using where in mime type. And now we need a way to get the mime types from the file type. So we'll call something like media get mimes and we'll pass in the file type. Now we'll need to add this method inside the media model. So we'll go down here and say public static function get mimes from the file type. And we'll need to access this types array, but in order to do that, we'll have to make this static. And then here we'll have to call self types. And then down here in our method, we'll have to return self types of file type or an empty array as a default. Now, if I go back in the browser, refresh, select a type, filter, here it is. Let's select a different one, filter, there it is. Let's do the same for the date. So if request has month, then we'll do media where between created at. And then here we'll need to pass in the start and the end of the month. And to do that, we'll do carbon create from format. And the format is month year request month. And this will be start of month. And the second one will be end of month. Now, if I go back in the browser and select the month, the filter seems to be working. However, if I pick any date, for example, and click filter, it blows up because we are sending the month as an empty string. Here it is. To avoid that, we can one, add some validation rules and two, make sure we never send empty parameters. And we can do that using the pick by method from Lodash. And we'll import this. Go back in the browser, refresh. And now if we select a null value, hit filter, the month is no longer sent. As a final step, we could clean up this index method by introducing query scopes on the media model. We could do media with author and then type pass in request of file type, and then for month, pass in request of month. Now inside media, we'll need to do public function scope type and use the builder from illuminate database eloquent, and we'll receive the type. And if we receive a type, so if is not null type, we'll do builder, where in mime type and to get the mime types we can do self get mimes from type otherwise return the builder unchanged we'll do the same thing for the month so let's copy and paste this scope month and let's grab the query from the controller paste it in import carbon and here we'll have builder and instead of request month we'll have month now we can go back in the controller and remove all this and even replace this media directly with the query remove this part format this 
and this should still work. Let's refresh. And here it is. We have archive from July, June, audio, and so on.